What's on the menu at Sports Skilly? Local and national sports talk that's always fresh in season and FDA approved. If it's hot, you'll find it cooking with Jeff, Jay, and Kelly. Sunday mornings, 11 a.m. on 920 a.m. The Jersey. Hi, everyone. Spring is here. You can hear it. If you step outside right now, you can feel it. But how does the outside of that home of yours look? Is it time to restore and refresh those old pavers? What about that outdoor fireplace and new walkway you've wanted for years? Well, what are you waiting for? There's no excuse for not calling our friends at New Look Landscape Design. They're across the river in Pennsylvania. You can call them at 215-493-1705. Whether it's landscape, hardscape, or just maintenance, they will take care of you. If you're worried about quality service or products, maybe just deal Dealing with someone unprofessional or dishonest? Not so. New Look Landscape Design. Write that down, save it to your smartphone, visit them on the web. They bring, their owner does, 15 years experience and a lifelong passion for creating a beautiful outdoor living space, a quality job on time and on budget. Most of all, he values his relationship with each client, working tirelessly with only one at a time until that dream of a beautiful outdoor living space is complete. NewLookLandscapeDesign.com. You can go on SportsSkilletRadio.com and see their ad. You watch my high school highlights. They're at the top of the last one. What are you waiting for? Flower beds, mulching, a new porch, even a koi pond. Koi bring good luck, so bring them to your home, courtesy of of newlooklandscapedesign.com. Don't wait any longer on your dreams. They're waiting for you. New Look Landscape Design, 215-493-1705. Tell them Sports Skillet sent you. You'll get a 10% discount. Welcome to the Skillet Sizzle with Kelly. Is the NFL still the no-fun league? Well, Commissioner Roger Goodell is expected to lighten up and allow uh, some more end zone touchdown celebrations this year. Last year, 26 players were fined and penalized for excessive celebration. Well, that's no fun. And Chip Kelly, if you hadn't been listening, has been hired by ESPN as a college football analyst and will also be giving some NFL analysis as well on SportsCenter. And Eagles Fletcher Cox and Giants Odell Beckham Jr are skipping OTAs. And in baseball news, the Yankee Stadium, since the end of 2009, suffered a $166 million loss from ticket and suite revenues through last season. And in hockey news, the Stanley Cup Finals begin Monday, May 29th, between the Nashville Predators and Pittsburgh Penguins. And the NBA Finals, finally, between the Golden State Warriors and the Cleveland Cavaliers, start Thursday, June 1st, 9 p.m. That's where I'll be. And this will mark the Cavs' LeBron James' seventh trip. Can you believe it? To the NBA Finals. And their Game 5 against the Celtics marked the Cavs' third straight conference title. But guess what? It was also historic because it was when James passed Michael Jordan for first place in all-time playoffs scoring list. LeBron now has 5,989 points for his postseason career compared to Jordan's 5,987. And congratulations to Cavs' J.R. Smith. He took home his baby girl who spent the first four months of her life in the hospital after being born at just 21 weeks. That is about five months too soon, but baby Dakota is certainly a miracle. And Lonzo Ball and his outspoken father, who have repeatedly said that the UCLA point guard really only wants to play for the Lakers, who hold the second draft pick, well, he went so far as to decline working out for the Celtics, who have the number one pick but supposedly is considering a workout with the Philadelphia 76ers who hold the number three pick. Okay, and yesterday the Turkish government has issued an arrest warrant for Turkish-born Oklahoma City Thunder Center Enes Cantor and accused him of being a member of a terrorist organization. Cantor has called the Turkish president the Hitler of the century and accused him of staging a coup and then killing off those who opposed him. Cantor says he'll continue to speak out even if his life is in danger. All right, today at noon is the 2017 Indianapolis 500 at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Thanks for listening. This has been The Skillet Sizzle with Kelly. You're listening to the Sports Skillet Radio Show. Get in on the conversation. Give the boys a call at 609-919-9200. Hit us up on the web at sportsskilletradio.com. Like us on Facebook to keep up with the latest sports news and show updates. 